Um, yes, she's gonna check for us. Let me know. I'm just gonna keep talking. Very normal sentences. I love ads on YouTube. Me too. Pampers. I'm pressing down and it's mm. going up. Love That's it. always fun. That's good. That's fine. This is old. Why did the old one come out? Oh, we need to delete that one. Okay. That's why. But anyways, hi guys. Let me see. What happened? The sound was horrible. Yeah, that happens. Um, it's good. Sweet. Uh, nothing, no one knows how to fix it. It's very annoying, not just for lives. It's actually more annoying when me and Becca spend a lot of time preparing a video and to film it and then to go back to edit that video and then realize that is how the audio is. Imagine that, guys. Imagine me and Becca not having some amazing, wonderful viewers to tell us how bad the audio is. We just ramble on for half an hour and have to basically trash the whole video. That's what's super annoying. Guys, we did a video the other day. I'm being completely honest. We did a video the other day and um, it was great until we went to do my outro. And so I had to refilm the outro. Well, I had my hair cut and dyed in the middle of that. So that's fun. <laughs> We'll see if you guys can spot yes. which video that's yeah. in. But we we were doing it on the overhead camera, and we even tried to like move the cricket in the yeah. exact way it was beforehand. We try for you guys, we really do, and yeah. it, it wasn't worth refilming the entire. No, video. for sure, because the entire project was literally finished. It was all yeah, of it. It was all of it. So, but anyways, that is super annoying when that happens. Anyways, sorry about that, uh, guys. Technical difficulties are always here for some reason, but we're trying to get those worked out. I was saying to you guys in the other video that I was sick of watching the news and you, I wanted you guys to tell me something that has blessed you this week. So tell me a good thing that happened to you, to your family. Let me know um, how you have been blessed this week and let that bless me as well. I love hearing all about your all's days. And I was saying it's hot. It's 85 degrees right now and the high is 90. Uh, let me know what the temperature is in your neck of the woods. But today we're gonna be making a really fun wedding uh, idea today. This is like kind of a, a guest book alternative. Um, we have a lot of wedding projects coming up because it is wedding season. Lots of weddings had to be postponed thanks to COVID-19. So a lot of people are getting married. So this is another great project for that. It uh, We use a lot of different things today. So you all let me know if you have any questions and we do also have those um, supplies as well as the fonts and the files that were used in this in the description below. Um, so that's where you can find all this good stuff. But I'm just going to go through supplies and you guys go ahead and cut me off if you have any type of questions and we would love to answer them. We love uh, answering those types of questions here on the live. 100 degrees in Florida. Oh my goodness. Miss Susan said, my son-in-law graduated from pharmacy school on Saturday. Congratulations. That's amazing. What a blessing. So glad to hear that. 73. Lori Joe, that is like my ideal temperature. Shell says it's 70. And, uh, CT, that's Connecticut, right? Yeah. 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 That that's, sounds heavenly. That's great. 91. Oh, 91 in California will go up later. Somebody Nina. said 100 in Florida. Ugh. What? And oh, that's God. so humid, too. It is humid. Oh, I can't. oh, my goodness. Sherry's 90 degrees in Chicago, and I said, that sounds terrible. It does sound <laughs> terrible. My Guys, ideal is like the high 60s. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's perfect. But my kids wanted to play outside all weekend so bad i've already talked to rachel about this and saturday i kept putting it off because it was just so hot and then yesterday i finally had to stop saying no and went outside with them and i was roasting it's so, i got so that like hot. blow up pool for them they're having a blast freezing and you know water hose water and i'm just dying on my front porch so. i was at my parents house on saturday we were i don't know if you all we were scouring off the um garage like the carport and then using a like kind of a power washer hose nozzle thing to like power wash all the brick and everything and i was over there doing that and it was so hot i was basically intentionally just putting myself under the hose <laughs> just all day i'm like sorry mom, i'm not gonna go in anymore because i'm just gonna be soaking wet but it was so hot so mom said you're getting soaked and i'm like thank god i am yeah yeah it was just so hot here. And I know that's not super hot in, you know, for you guys in some of the other parts of the world, but 
Oh, Mama Disney said, here. this is the cutest thing ever. My son got married at Disneyland, and <gasps> this was his guest book, but they had Mickey heads the guest signed. Oh, that my god! Is adorable. Mama Disney. Post a picture. Post a picture. Please post a picture. Put it in the Facebook group. That is oh, the cutest. Curie. I hugged my sister for the first time since March 8th. <gasps> Yay. I mean, I'm not a hugger, but I would be sad if I couldn't be around Anna. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we eat after each other. Is that the same thing as hugging? Sure. It, it sure was. <laughs> that's perfect. No, guys, oh, thank you so Sherry, much. that's awesome. Continue to bless us with these comments. I love reading these good things. It's way better than flipping on the news. Trust me. Alicia but. says, 48 here in Alaska. Chilly because it's Ooh. rainy. Sad face, but that would be a happy face for me. Pekka loves the cold. Uh, oh, paper Lord. washer. What's a paper washer? I did the paper washer all weekend. Hmm. I am oh, curious. Let us know. know. But guys, we have a fun craft to do today. Maybe Apparently, power washer. Oh, paper wash. Yeah. Is it paper wash? Maybe. It, sorry. I'm sorry. No, we power wash. That's what I did at my mom's house too this weekend. Um, whenever it's hot, you, you got to do something with water. Maybe I'll make up things to power wash later. Be like, oh, that needs Ooh, power that wash. You need it. You just it right totally needs it. Yeah. Just. <laughs> but, um... Design space apparently is not being too cooperative today. Becca was having some trouble. It was it was fine for me earlier this morning, and thankfully I got all this prepped because since design space has been so bad, it would be super awful if we were in the middle of a live and had tremendous design space issues. So I do have all this prep for us today, which is gonna be great because again, we do not like to waste your all's time, and you guys know how to cut, and you know how to weed, and all that great stuff. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is showing you how to put this together. Becca, anything? Yeah, power wash. Yeah, yeah. I hate- Miss Anita says yesterday was National Cancer Survivor Day and my husband is a oh. three time cancer survivor. Oh my gosh. Well, yes. hopefully praying he does not have to deal with that again. That Absolutely. is amazing. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. What a strong, strong human being. That is incredible. But, well, and you for, I mean, that emotionally for, I, for Anita I, too. Ooh, oh my goodness. I don't goodness. think I could do it. I don't think I wow. could do it. Wow. Oh. That's, oh, that's incredible. That's incredible. Yes. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Continue to do this. Becca, please cut me off with all of this. All you know, well, I'm, so I'm super happy. <laughs> no. um, do I need to have a subscription in design space if I get a maker's going to learn subscription? That's a good question. question. That is a great question. You do not have to know. Um, it is actually free to use design space. You do not have to pay to use it. Um, Cricut itself does have a membership called Cricut Access and it does give you a, a ton of files and fonts if you so choose that. But maker's going to learn is kind of its own thing and it does also give you cut files and fonts but it gives you trainings and a Facebook group and printable guides and um, e-courses and all kinds of stuff. Commercial license. Commercial license. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. All, a lot of stuff that Cricut just doesn't give you for what like three dollars more. Yeah. Which is. The breakdown. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, breakdown yeah, yeah. a year if you want to be a yearly member which is the only membership tier that does have certain bonuses but you do pay the least amount of money for that and it's even broken down more today because we're starting a summer sale today. We got that text from the boss man, so woohoo. You guys can save 20 bucks on our yearly membership using the code MAKE, M-A-K-E, at checkout, and that will give you guys even more savings, which is incredible. So again, continue to ask your questions about that if you have any. And yeah, we're just gonna jump into supplies here. Again, all these are linked in the description. But I think the main event here is our little, um, display case is what it says. This is from Hobby Lobby and it opens. So it has like a little latch. I don't know what these are called. And then you just, you can open it just like that. And then you just shut it back and it'll just latch right, latch right up for you. It's super cute. Uh, here's one that's still in the plastic and all that good stuff. This was 25 bucks from Hobby Lobby. Please get these on sale. I beg of you. So um, this guy's 11 by 14, but that's kind of all in all. We measured it in design space, of course, with just the amount of space we had to work with. So let me go ahead and open this guy up for us. Uh, so, you know, this is meant for like keepsakes and things like that, but I thought it would be super cute to use for something like this. Now, um, you do not have to use this. I do have, um, other thing, I did have other things in mind for this project, like one of those with the slots in the top that you just kind of drop them down. But I really liked the um, way that the 
guests could interact by opening it up and placing their heart in and then shutting it back. Mm -hmm. You know, being kind of being gentle about it. But if you don't have like a 400 person wedding, this is going to be really, really cute for your wedding. And then after you're done, you can take something like an ATG gun and actually adhere down those little hearts so they never will wiggle out of place or anything like that. And Miss Julie says, will my membership automatically renew? Miss Julie, that is a great question. Yes, ma'am, it will. Um, we kind of love that. So you guys don't even have to worry about it. If you are a yearly member, meaning you get the most amount of perks for the least amount of money, um, you don't even have to think about it. You pay once a year and then it'll just automatically renew. You don't have to mark it on your calendar or set a reminder on your phone. It'll automatically do that for you. So it just takes all the guesswork out of it and all you have to do is focus on crafting. Let me see here. Um, I've seen this question quite a few times, Miss or Mr. Out for Fun 123. You can use w w whichever you like. You can use your cellular data um, if you want to. Uh, I have seen that question several times, so I did want to address it verbally. But yeah, you can use whichever you want. Um, so this is linked down below. It's from Hobby Lobby. I'll link the exact one that we used here. And we don't really need anything that's in here. This just says display case, and then it comes with this kind of, you know, what do we call this? Batting? I don't know. Sure. Stuffing? Um, sure. This comes with it this. It does look like batting to me. And you don't need it. Um, and then on the inside, it's actually kind of, I don't want to say fluffy, but it's kind of like fabric, fabric and cushy in here. And what we're planning on doing is applying down some pattern paper. And the pattern paper we have is also from Hobby Lobby. It is from the Paper Studio. It's just um, white with little um, gold polka dots, which are super cute. Which you can't see right now, but you can see um, overhead yeah. in a little bit. Well, look at the little well, polka dots. Well, it's just so worn out. Yeah. You can't see it? it no. Yeah. So, but we'll give you a close up in a bit. <laughs> we sure will. Um, and to match those, as you can see here, I've made my hearts gold as well. So that is where this, there we go. Becca's mm -hmm. gonna have to get that later. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Becca. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, um, sorry. This is where the craft board comes in. This is metallic gold craft board. Of course, it is just you know white on the back and then gold on the front. It's very flashy, very bright, and this is what we have decided to cut our little hearts out of. Knock the camera Thank over. You. That would Thank be you. Fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. If I wasn't such a klutz, you wouldn't have had to do that anyways. But that's what we're using for the little hearts here um, because these are not just paper, they're actually on chipboard. So that brings us to some other supplies we will need as well, um, which is chipboard, masking tape, your strong grip mat. That is what we have here is a uh, chipboard mat all prepped for us. And then you'll need your knife blade. So uh, at this point, if you wanna make it like we are making it, this is a Cricut Maker project. However, if you just wanna stack up uh, some pieces of Cricut craft board, you totally can. That's fine if you wanna do it like that. We actually, it would look better if it was two layers of chipboard, but that'd make it pretty thick as well. Mm -hmm. So really it's however you wanna do it. All we're here to do today is to teach you guys the skills on how to create this. And then you guys get to put your own creative spin on it, which is awesome. So we have those little hearts cut out of chipboard. We have this cut out of craft board and then that goes on top of each other there. Uh, we have our ATG gun, a paper trimmer. I actually had to go ahead and trim this paper today because we're not gonna have enough to fill this completely. You're gonna see some gaps and I do apologize, but I did not feel like it was worth an hour of my time going all the way to Hobby Lobby for one sheet of paper. Uh, but you guys are gonna get the gist by me using these two. You can kind of piece it together and do what you like. But that's what you're gonna need your paper trimmer for because this frame is 11 by 14 inches. And then we have our masking paper transfer tape. We use this constantly. This is from Amazon. It is linked below as well. It's six inches by 100 feet, so you get so much of this. We have a Sharpie, which is not the like the cutest thing in the world to have at your wedding. So if you wanted to get something fancier or wrap this or something like that in washi tape, uh, that is just what your guests can write their names in in the hearts. Um, and they can do it like couples, like the Hensleys or the Langstons or the Oaks or something like that. Or you could do, you know, Beckett, Fallon, uh, Wayne, and Becca, whatever you'd like to do um, on these little hearts. Just let your guests kind of go wild on that. So then some alcohol here, cause we're gonna be applying our vinyl um, onto this glass here. So we're gonna need uh, that to get it super clean. And other than that, some black vinyl, and I think we're good to go. 
I think, which is exciting. So let me know if you have any questions about any of these materials. Um, it's super easy. We're going to jump into design space and show you all the cut file we're working with today. Again, this is a super easy project. It might look a little intimidating. You can throw this together in 20 minutes, honestly. Super, super simple. Becca, have I missed anything? No, I don't see I anything. haven't. I don't think so. Yay. But, oh, and I meant to tell you guys too, that coupon code MAKE actually worked for two things today. It works for the yearly membership and for the Summer Summit, which is coming up next month, the 25th and the 26th, which is so exciting. So if you guys want tickets to the Summer Summit to get your home geared up and ready for the rest of the year, then grab your ticket for 20 bucks off today. But we're gonna be uh, heading over to Design Space and I will show you guys all this amazing stuff. Really easy though. So um, as you guys probably can guess, this square here represents the uh, frame. And this is not the, you know, the largest size of the frame, which is uh, 14 by 11. Uh, it is the inside of the frame, which is at 10 and 10.75 uh, by 13.75. So that is uh, what we have to work with there. So this is the cut file that we are using today. If you go over here, uh, and I just searched wedding. You can find it here. We have so many other amazing, super cute wedding cut files that would just make you really want to just redo your wedding. I'm sure me and Becca may want to redo, not Ooh. with the people, Ooh. but maybe just the day of. Maybe we'll have some vow renewals coming up and really give it the DIY spin there but we've got so many wedding cut files if you guys have any um anything you're wanting in particular there yeah and was it may that we did that wedding cut file release yeah yeah i think so as that cut if you get if you haven't looked oh my gosh it's one of the cutest cut Ugh. file launches that we've done literally so cute Hands so down, this is one of those new files that we're working with uh -huh. today we popped it in design space here and this is how it looks when you first uh upload it in design space it has two different colors and you guys are able to change those colors if you want to or you can uh remove some of these if you want to um so for this one today we actually don't want to use these little curly cues and the reason for that is because uh i don't really want to take away from these little hearts and also once the hearts kind of get tall enough to where they're behind your uh, happily ever after vinyl anyways it starts to look a little bit busy so you want to try and make this look simple so we're actually going to go ahead and remove this layer here oh i love this about design space can i oh mm. oh gosh okay so since design space is being absolutely ridiculous and i cannot click one layer and then erase it like this i have to click ungroup and then click this layer for this to work. That should not happen, but that's just what's happening today, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that, remove that, and then this is what we're left with, and uh, all we have to do is size it to our little frame there. But I do want to address an amazing question that Becca brought to my attention from Miss Angela. What's in your guidebook you get with the membership? So I'll go ahead and show you over here. Uh, first off, with the membership, uh, you actually will get that guidebook regardless on which membership tier you choose however today we do have twenty dollars off of our yearly membership and we need to get this updated because we have about double these fonts which is awesome we have about 400 fonts new ones added each uh, month you get that commercial license and those three free e-courses with that yearly membership along with everything else that our other members get like access to the facebook group the printable guides and the um files yeah so uh I want to show you guys these e-courses as well. These are ideal for beginners or anyone wanting to kind of start a business or something like that. So it'll teach you how to master your machine, how to master design space, and then the beginning steps to building a business through die cutting, which is awesome. Um, these are all broken down here. You can see your perks go up and then the price go down here, which is incredible. And it is on sale too. So if you guys want to take advantage of that, you can just click any of those awesome little links there and just make sure you apply that coupon code. And then you, this is all that you will be charged to craft for 365 days with us, which is incredible. And if you were here on your, um, on your page, just for instance, I'll show you, uh, you'll go to your dashboard here and right here, Miss Angela, is where all of your member resources will be, where all those printable guides are. So she's talking about a guidebook um, and I'm sure she's talking about the Makers Gonna Learn or excuse me, the Cricut Printable Guide. However, if my mouse will cooperate, 
holy Moses. We have several gods here. All of these are different amazing gods that you guys will love to take advantage of. But the one that our friend is talking about is the Cricut printable guide, which is filled with a ton of stuff that every Cricut owner needs to know, regardless if you're a newbie or not. These are just so helpful. So we have terminology for design space, which cutting mats to use with which uh, types of materials. Um, some information on all of the blades here. Uh, again, it shows you all those blades. This It's just so, so fun. This is everything the fine point blade can cut. You can see here, rotary blade, rotary blade, D point, knife blade, perforation. I mean, we and we update this whenever Cricut comes out with new blades and things like that, just to make sure we're giving you guys the most updated information. We have terminology, which is incredible if you're a Cricut beginner, because all too often you'll see tutorials that'll just kind of whiz by and talk about all of these different words, and you might not be too sure what they mean, so that is a great thing to take note of as well. Uh, we also have some hacks that are super fun, design space hacks, and um, hacks for, uh, you know, if you're using print then cut or if you're using vinyl or iron on or things like that. Um, the thing that we use the most here is the easy press temperature charts, which show you, uh, you know, what degree to put your easy press on, depending on the material and the uh, blank that you're using, which is super fun. Uh, some more cheat sheets here. We just got so much going on in this. Some more term glossaries here to help you guys uh, make sure you know exactly how to use your machine. Just some kind of helpful tips and tricks about how to download and use Design Space. Just so much going on there that would be helpful for you guys. And that's right where you can find all of those amazing guides. So uh, back in Design Space here, I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this just to kind of show you what's going on. So this is the frame that we have. And we're gonna go up here and click send to back. And now all we have to do, instead of sizing our, um, our you know, uh, frame outside of design space, all we have to do, since we have it as like kind of a physical representation here, all we have to do is size it to fit this square and then we're good to go. So uh, size it until it looks good. Now you don't wanna cover the entire thing. So if you kind of get carried away and you wanna make this thing you know, huge and you want to unlock it and you want to stretch it out, I would advise against that because again, we're trying to just kind of add a little something to the front of this glass to where it kind of adds a little bit of character and a little bit of, you know, personality, but not so much where it'll make everything look super busy. So uh, size it accordingly. I'm pretty sure this one over here is just eight inches wide and it is. So eight inches seems to be you know, a pretty good size here. It might look a little bit small, but as soon as you fill it with all those hearts and you start you know, getting all that other color and all the other textures in there, it'll really fill up and, and be a lot for your eyes to handle. Um, Miss Julie, can that be laminated on the Cricut with laminate sheets? I think she's talking about the book. Oh, okay. Um, if you have laminate sheets, sure. I've never used them. Um, a lot of people will print them out and put them on a like a three ring binder or something like that. Or they'll the little take them. sheets, like the protective sheets. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, sheet protectors, things like that. You can totally do. If you want to make it smaller, you can. Um, I think we took ours to our local print shop. Or no, I think we actually took ours to UPS. Mm -hmm. But it was a little bit overpriced, and I don't love the way they bound it so, so we're constantly having to put the, the yeah, binding back on yeah, yeah. yeah so you guys can definitely use whatever you like whatever you think you need to do that i mean if you think you're going to be taking it places where it really does need to be laminated that's fine you don't have to laminate it it's just kind of personal preference there i would advise you to if you're able to get it laminated professionally and things like that to make sure you do know that we will update that with extra pages if things come out from Cricut and all that good stuff. So you don't want to have like eight laminated amazing looking pages and like three that are just from your printer. So put that into, you know, perspective and think about that when you choose, you know, how you want to laminate that or how you want to store those because you might have some extra pages down the road and I'd hate for you guys to have to take, you know, to print the entire thing back out because you really do not have to do that. Okay, so once you have this size, that's basically all you need to do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and erase this. 
And now the next part is uh, making your little hearts. So all we did was grab a heart from Shapes, literally. And I kind of just looked at my frame and sized it up and seen, you know, how big I liked these. And I'm gonna move this to the front then. And I figured this was a really good size. It's two inches wide. It's big enough to be able to write your name, but not small enough that, you know, you're gonna have to worry about, um, I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know where I was going with that. What was I trying to say? <laughs> no I idea. Know. It's it's big enough to write your name. It's the perfect size. It's a short. good size, guys. <laughs> I shouldn't have to sell you on it. Anyways, <laughs> two inches wide is the magic number. Um, no other size will do. No other size. Um, I'm joking. If you wanted to make it smaller, it would just be kind of harder for your guests to write their names. But if you had more guests and you wanted to squeeze a bunch of these in here, you could do that. But they might be writing their initials after a while. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, so two inches is the magic number there. Although I turned it around and now it kind of looks odd. But it is two inches. Um, and then all we did was fill this with... Um, we filled it with as much as we could on our mat, and I'm gonna show you guys a really fun hack on how to do that. So we already cut this out, and we do not need this backing there. So this is all you'll need to cut out of regular vinyl. Uh, just do the normal vinyl setting, and we already did that, so again, I'm gonna hide that. And for our hearts here, we're gonna go ahead and click Make It, and then I'm gonna show you a super fun hack. So since we're gonna be doing this on um, chipboard you can go over here a lot of people don't really realize that you can go over here and under material size and actually click the material size that you have and we have 11 by 11 so now you can go up here and apply a bunch of different um copies here let's see what 24 looks like okay that's quite a bit now you're gonna have to go down on your copies let's see what 20 looks like apply and then we'll go ahead and reset that 11 by 11. And see, okay, now we could fit, you know, one, two, three, five more in there. So let's do 25 and then click apply and then we'll have to go ahead and reset that material size. But this is just a really cool way to make sure that you're maximizing the use out of your material um, because you can change those sizes a lot. So as you can see, we can do 25 hearts out of just one piece of chipboard, which is really, really awesome and you will cut this twice once with chipboard and then once with your gold craft board so once you have these on there you can go ahead and click continue and again you will need your knife blade if you want to use this uh, and use the chipboard if you don't want to use craft board um, so go ahead and click craft board and then when you're or excuse me chipboard and then when you're ready for your craft board all you have to do is change that setting and then recut that out um, yeah and it's it's really that easy it really is. Becca? Yes. What have I what have I missed? Not much. Really? Um, someone just said um, what info is in your guidebook and I just uh, am responding right now just saying um, that you did go through that just a few minutes ago so feel free to rewatch oh, and yeah. dip. Um, and then I'm just giving a quick um, list of things that that are in it. Um, and Amazing. then that guide is really cool. Mhm. Mm uh, do you need a knife blade for chipboard? I've never cut it before. Okay, great question. So you do need a knife blade for chipboard, um, but you do not have to use chipboard for this project. We really try to be mindful here on Makers and Learn about making projects that uh, cricketers can use regardless of which machine they have. So feel free to just layer several different sheets of craft board on top of each other for this if you don't want to use chipboard. But yes, the knife blade is only a blade that can be used um, in the Cricut Maker, uh, yeah, unfortunately. But that's okay, you guys can use this either way. I have went ahead and pre-cut all of this out, which is really good because let me tell you guys, uh, how did it take a while. These little hearts took some time, but not so much time to where like you feel like your whole day was spent doing it. These are relatively easy shapes, so it wasn't horrible, but it still took a lot of time. Um, and then again, we just recut that out with the craft board so we have one layer out of the craft board and one layer out of the chipboard so that's what it looks like there's a chipboard layer and there's that cute little metallic -y layer there and then here is our vinyl that we cut out and all we'll be doing today is applying um, some uh, masking paper transfer tape over that and placing it on our uh, frame there 
And Becca is answering that question that we just answered again. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and show you guys this guy. Now, just because I'm kind of weird, I like my thingy to open this away. I want it to open like that. I just feel like it's easier. So that's the way I'm going to have mine open. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Be very gentle. It is glass. And again, this is kind of like cushy. And we're just going to line this up and see how this is going to look here. Now, it looks like I even cut it a little bit too long. So I might actually need my paper trimmer. Okay. So we're just going to cut this and then size it. Now, again, I do not have the correct amount of this. So please, no one come at me. I did not want to go all the way to Hobby Lobby to get one sheet of this. So forgive me. It's just going to be short today. But the one we have finished is not short. So I'm going to take my paper trimmer. And you guys don't have to see this. It's just off camera. But I'm just going to cut off a teeny, like a, just a sliver, a sliver of this to get it to fit in there a little bit better. Let's see how that did. And oh, yeah, that's much better. Like this is all that I cut off, guys. Look at this. That's it. That's all I cut off. So just a little sliver just to make it fit a little bit better. Perfect. Let's lay it down. Love it. So it doesn't really matter if these are super evenly placed, like making sure the little dots line up just so, so it really doesn't make that big of a difference. Um, when you have those hearts in there again, it's really going to fill up the space. You're really not going to notice. So we're just going to take one of these and apply ATG. I love this ATG gun guys. It's like the best dry adhesive ever. Becca tends to use the hot glue gun more than the ATG gun. Which and I you know, know is I like, feel her. Right. I feel her. Uh, it's just, it's, it just depends on the project. Like if you've been around the block crafting, you can you just know what projects that is gonna right. be better with the, you know, the hot glue gun versus the ATG gun. So all it has to do is stick to the backing, like that's all we're after. So I'm just gonna take this and I'll just apply it to the edges. It's really not important to apply it to the middle unless you just want to. You can apply one or two strips. Um, just going on the edges. And I should have done the math and seen how many hearts that one of these will hold if you cut it at two inches, but I did not. I was not thinking that far ahead for you guys. And now you can just kind of splice this together just like that. And look how simple, super, super simple, super cute. So now the next thing I'm also going to do while we're here is go ahead and apply our ATG to our little hearts here. So I'm going to bring the camera in here so we can see everything that's going on. So we have our little chipboard hearts here. We're going to make five today. I thought five was a good number to really teach you guys and answer some questions, but not too much to where we're going to just bore you guys to tears. So I'm going to start. And again, this right here is just personal preference, whether you want to start and apply ATG on the paper or on the chipboard. Um, it's just whatever you want to do. I'll apply it on the chipboard. And then now I usually hold my heart from the side so that I can see uh, like where it's going to line up for me and then place it right down. And then there you go. Super cute. Like that's all she wrote. And now your guests will come through there and write their names on here. Like Becca. Look with one C, Rachel. Just one C. Just one. Just one. I, like I was it. debating between my name or Becca's. So I just, whatever. Be Becca with one C. I like I it. it off. No, no, leave it. Becca. Hang on, I'm going to put another C in there. No. There you go. I like it. Becca, that wasn't for you. That was for someone else attending the wedding whose name was actually with one Bika. C. So you can't be judging. I, That's really rude. There's That's no judgment. Name. There's no judgment. <laughs> Guys, I'm ridiculous. I think I've gotten closer than some people in spelling your name, though. Well, somebody kept calling you Becca the other no, day. No, Rebecca. It was oh, like Rebecca, they yeah. knew that you worked here Becca, and that I worked yeah. here, and they're like, Rebecca, that's it. Rachel and Becca, Rebecca. So, easy. Look, I'm going to write my wrong now, guys. Are you ready? There we go. Looky there. Uh, Two Cs. Look at Two that. Two Cs. 
You can write a little bit bigger than me if you want to. But the, like these are the easiest, most repetitive little things. And you guys can go nutso and like get gold paint and paint the edges if you're that obsessed. Oh, but that's I'm, extra, right? I'm not that obsessed, especially because they're just gonna lay flat in this frame forever and ever. Like close up of the finished one, this is how it's gonna look. Look at that. Like you're, they're just laying flat. Like in, at no point are you gonna be staring at the edges of these and be right. like, why aren't those gold? You know, I mean, so if you wanna be extra, feel free, but that's, it's not required. It's not required. So yeah, again, I like to hold on from the side so I can really see that they're lining up good. Although sometimes we'll get some that don't line up perfectly. Guys, just roll with it. It is not worth ripping that off. And then, I mean, especially if you have a wedding with like 100 people in attendance, it's one little heart that's a, a half of a millimeter offset. Well, and likely if you have 100 hearts, you're gonna be overlapping them anyway. So just true, true, yeah. Becca. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. So cute. But I yeah, love this bronze. It's just repetitive. That's all that it is. Like most of these that we've had lately. I mean, they look scary, but they're not scary at all. Just applying some ATG. And this really, guys, the most expensive thing here was just the, the frame here. We really had everything else on hand to be able to make this, and you you probably do as well. And if you're if you have a small wedding, if you're just you know having a cute little elopement or something like that, like this would be perfect for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna move on and apply it on our vinyl. First, we're gonna apply our transfer tape to it, which I'm gonna get a mat because I meant to grab one. That's much easier to do with a mat. Which we're a little obsessed with using the mat for this kind of stuff. But we always weed on the mat and use the mat for everything. So I'm literally laying this down on the mat already weeded just so it's my third hand to hold my transfer tape better. Is the only reason I'm doing that. And that's not gonna quite cover it, but I bet it's gonna be close enough. So just stretch that over your project. Cut you off a piece. Apparently Tanner found our um, blow-up Santa downstairs. That <laughs> is hysterical. What is he saying? Did he say anything? <laughs> he sent a video. He sent it on his Instagram. He sent a video of, um, walk, basically, I walked into the office and found Santa. So we're doing a fun project. Oh, you guys are going to love it. <clears throat> Uh, Christmas in July, you know, we love to do Christmas in July. We have a whole, spoiler alert, cut file collection coming out that's Christmas in July themed. I'm super excited about it. Yeah. And so... And it's um, not like last year's Christmas in July. No, guys. no, it's not. No. So Beckett, Beckett's birthday is in July and he loves Christmas and Santa. So I was like, let's do a birthday party um, that's themed Christmas in July. So, I mean, you know where I'm going with this. Anyway, um, I decided that we needed a blow up Santa, yes. like a yard blow up Santa, uh -huh. instead of a balloon bouquet. And it's actually a lot cheaper than a balloon bouquet. Who would have thought? Yeah. So it got delivered this morning and we just put him in the corner of the office because why not? <laughs> well, I said, Becca, it's so holly jolly in June. Yeah. And Becca said, I think I want to leave him up for a while. Yeah. And I'm like, heck yeah. I'm, I meant to deflate him when we came up here, no, and I didn't. No, no, that's not fun. Yeah. Then he would have walked in on a deflated blow-up Santa. And then he would have had no idea what it was. No, no idea. For sure. Anyway. So, blow-up Santa, stay tuned. It's going to rock Stay tuned. It's going to be fun, yes. Yes. So I went through there, guys, as Ms. Becca was telling her amazing story about our blow-up Santa, and just wiped this down with alcohol. Mm -hmm. You guys have seen it a hundred times. Didn't think I needed to show it. Don't skip the step, though, Don't friends. skip the step. Please don't. It's, like, vital. So it was so dirty, and now it's way cleaner. I'm just going to set that to, to the side to air dry. Flip our mat over. Remove our mat from our material. And now we're rocking and rolling with our vinyl here. Just going to burnish from the back. You can't over burnish. You cannot. And guys, this is like one of 4,000 cut files we have that are super cute. We have hundreds for weddings and like uh, Valentine's Day and stuff. And home decor. Just, and yeah, home decor. Oh, we have so many. Uh, Christmas, I think we have over 5,000. Wow, 5,000. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? 500 cut files for Christmas. Okay, guys, watch really quick what Rachel's doing. So she's tr she was pulling right there, and the backing is wanting to to come off on the vinyl. So instead of just like figure or like trying to fight that and get it to come off anyway, she's gonna switch around and start from a different corner. 
Um, and just look at the different corners until she finds one that will come off oh. without the backing. Mm-hmm. It's like her one person back up. Yeah. Yeah. And then see how she's pulling that off? She's not, like, lobbing it up to, to like, she, she's peeling it back and folding it as she peels it. And that um, helps that backing come off. And you can see up at the top. What vinyl is that? Is it Cricut? No, this is this is Orcow. Wow. That's surprising. I put on more pressure. Oh. Yeah, all, this does this, oh. guys, because your blade is so fresh yeah. that we cut through the backing a little. Super common. People start freaking out. It's not a big deal. It comes off super easy. I made some decals for my father-in-law, guys, for his cornhole boards. And I put a fresh blade in because I didn't want to have to have like a mess while weeding. Like look how easy the rest of this is coming off. Like it's just certain parts that are crazy. And then over there was those two sides that were giving me trouble and it's fine. Um, and he was freaking out, my father-in-law. He was like, that, oh my gosh, what's happening? Like that shouldn't be happening, should it? And I'm like, oh, it's totally fine. Like you can get your pin pin tool or like a Cricut Pokey tool and you just peel it off. Like it's just a tiny little piece of paper. Like that's all it is. And I twisted this guy up just a little bit. So I'm just gonna pull pull him out right there flatten him out again perfect so that came out great you can see where i uh where it was tearing a little bit on me but just like becca said just start on another corner i'm glad you started mentioning that mm -hmm. just start on another corner and you'll find a way it's just because your blades new it'll it'll even itself out don't even worry so now we're going to pop this onto our um awesome frame here they're really widened it out and you guys know i always stand up when i do this part so here's our frame. Oh well, Lord, I can go in a little tighter than that. Goodness. Okay, good. Okay, here we are. So I want it to be centered, but up just a little bit. So I want it to be even on the sides, but on the on the higher side. So um, I'm just gonna kind of hold this and look at it. Now, one thing about vinyl to know is that it's pretty much a one chance fancy. If even one letter goes down and it adheres, then you're you're kind of stuck there. So make sure you lock where it's going before you apply it down because there's really no way to change it once it's once it's like that. So I'm just gonna kinda feel around here. Becca, how does this look? I think it looks pretty good. I'm I'm happy with it. Okay. Just up and I'm just gonna kinda lay it down just like it, just like it's gonna lay down, just like I just let my fingers go. And then you're gonna start in the center and then burnish out. Burnishing out is pretty important, it really prevents bubbles. Make sure it's gonna lay down the way it needs to. And this doesn't need to be burnished that much at all, guys, because it's it's gonna stick to this glass just incredibly. I mean, look at that. Just perfect. <clears throat> so it sticks amazing to glass. And now you guys are able to open up this guest book, sign your name, place a little heart down, and shut it again. Then along comes the other guest that just happens to have the same name. That's okay. And we're just gonna set it back down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And same thing. I mean, your guests are just gonna come in here and you know lay their little hearts down and sign their names. And this is just gonna be the cutest little keepsake ever. So that is the one that we did. And then here's the one with the hearts um, adhered down. So like I can flip this around and shake it and these hearts aren't going anywhere. And this is just kind of what it's gonna look like. It's just gonna, it's just gonna, really be adorable I, add just a little bit of the accent there if you don't have gold as an accent but like silver add silver that would be super cute so this is what they have to do just add their little heart in there and that's it so cute so simple you can see here i even had to double up my paper like i did the first one but you can't even tell that seam is just so tiny it's like right there and once your hearts fill up this um you know like the shadow box you're not even dwelling on where the little seam is or anything like that it's just so cute and so simple so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed that literally the cutest i feel like i've missed a lot of comments have i um, I don't think so. Maybe. Not only questions, just sort of comments, yeah. Yay. Yeah. Well, guys, yeah. that's great. I'm so glad that you guys are feeling confident with these projects and not feeling like you're, you know, missing anything or that we're going too fast or that you want, you know, you really want a, a better breakdown of how this works or anything. As long as you guys are understanding the project, I am super elated. So, yeah, let me know if you guys have any more questions. I think this is a very cute, super simple craft. It wasn't even an hour. No, not even an hour. I mean, this 
It's that easy, I'm telling you. If we weren't chit-chatting and stuff, you could pop one of these out in 20 minutes. Or if you guys are going to like any other sort of party and you wanna have something like this or even your wedding shower, a lot of people have guest books and things like that too, you know, to collect addresses and stuff. If you wanna have one of those at your shower and one of these at your wedding, whatever you'd like to do to, you know, commemorate the moment, something like that. If you and your family have a family reunion once a year, you could write all your names on there. I mean, you know, I'm just trying to give you guys some examples on things that you can do here. And please feel free to change up the colors, change up the shapes that you do. Like someone said that they did Mickey ears, Mama Disney, literally the cutest idea ever. If you want to do that for like a birthday party or something like that, you can change this out for some really amazing fonts that we have over 400 of to be able to, you know, write whatever you wanted on there. Because with our amazing fonts that Makers going to learn, you guys have the freedom of the alphabet, which is incredible. But yeah, you guys are awesome. Um... Where's the frame from, Patricia? Our frame is from Hobby Lobby. So we got him for 50% off. The link is in the description um, to the exact one that we're using here today. Um, and it's really cute. It's super cute. It just, you can unlatch it and just open it right up and then close it. It's super, oh, super cute. And I think it's big enough. All too often I think you see them and they're like too small. But this is a great size. I really like this size for sure. Yay. Family reunion, use a tree and leaves. That's super cute. What a great idea. Yeah, that that's really adorable. Good for a family reunion, you guys could absolutely do this. Yeah, we just want to give you guys the know-how, you know, to be able to do stuff like this. And we have more wedding projects coming up, like I mentioned. We have some throughout the week. Becca is actually making, oh, the cutest Father's Day card ever. So all of you guys watching right now, you better tune in um, on Wednesday. Yes, because it's that's the cutest card in the world. Um, she got inspired on Pinterest. Oh, of course. Yeah. Pinterest, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, Becca, that's really cute. That's, that's a darn cute card. And she like brought bestoweth upon me what she created Stop and it. I almost died like it was it was better than the Pinterest one it was so cute so please it's join fun, us back yeah. on Wednesday for Becca to show you how to make that because I was blown away it's, it's literally the cutest thing in the world um how long did it take to cut the chipboard that's a great question it took a while um now again these were hard so it's not like the hardest shape ever for the cricket to cut the chipboard but it did have to cut make I think it was like 24 passes and we could make 25 hearts out of one 11 by 11 piece of chipboard so it did take quite a while I want to say less than two hours now a little hack I don't know if you guys know it or not just because it says it takes 24 passes to cut through chipboard doesn't mean it necessarily does so I think we stop at what like halfway yeah halfway generally we can stop and don't unload your mat just pause the machine and kind of pull up and see if it is disconnected and if so Take that sucker out. Um, so it does not have to go the full amount by any yeah. means. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Great, great addition though, Becca. Thank I you. agree. Um, I mean, you can let it cut for that long if you want yeah, to. We got an extra hour to kill. <laughs> oh, Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Oh, I love you. She said, I have a super important question, Aww. which of course caught my eye. Yeah. <laughs> she says, can we go back in time so I could have found your channel and membership site sooner? My wedding would have been 10 times better. Love y'all. First of all, you are the sweetest ever. Yes. And I know that I joke a lot about, you know, wanting to redo my wedding and everything. But, you know, I'm just, I'm tickled for you. A wedding is just a union between two people and, you know, before God. And if you guys, you know are doing great then that's all that matters it's nothing about the wedding day that made it you know what it is today however super cute decor is a plus <laughs> but you are too was cricket sweet. even a thing when i got married i don't i don't know anybody like you act like you're old no, you're not i'm not but i don't i didn't i don't know of anybody who had a cricket when i got married like because, i don't think it because was because it was just cartridges and stuff like that yeah. i mean you know 13 years ago which isn't a long long time but yeah. like pinterest was not around and i don't know i knew i knew nobody with a cricket yeah it yeah i don't think it was very common you I guys mean. have it easy cricket it up <laughs> you're spoiled <laughs> and if we give you all every video you might even want to search for y'all don't even have to do any work rachel it's your nice. hair is beautiful today <gasps> patricia Yay. thank you so much i um 
I wiped my tan on the other night. You did, I noticed. Which you always, good, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Which always makes me feel a little better. Yeah. And it also makes my hair look lighter. And I use that purple shampoo, which gives it um, silvery, which makes it look silvery. But I'm getting ready for summer. But you're too sweet. Thank you so much. But yeah. Yay. You guys are the best. Mine was 30 plus years ago. Oh, well, your wedding. Yeah, hey. you were hand cutting that stuff out. <laughs> Hey, congrats on being married for 30 plus years. That's an incredible, um, incredible accomplishment. For sure. Jessica, I met my hubby in 2015 and got married in 2018. I did too. Same here. I'll work on my time machine and decorate it with my Makers and Learn Cut Files. Please do, Jessica. Please do. I, I did the same thing. And while I was working for Tanner, to be honest, I, did, I, don't, I didn't cricket anything. How did you? What? I didn't cricket anything. How, what? I would have been, I would have been like Tanner. We're making the entire two months did before I? my wedding all about wedding DIY. I did steal a lot of things from work, which is a big no no. But I brought them back. <laughs> but um, no, I can't believe I didn't. And my wedding wasn't even big. There was like fifty people there. But Rachel, yeah. what purple shampoo do we use? Milkshake. That's the best ever. Milkshake themselves is like the best brand. And guys, look at me. Just take a gander. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I never take a purse anywhere. If you see me out of Nike shorts, I'm probably sick. But um, I don't use a lot of beauty products. I'm not, I don't like to spend a ton of time just because I'm not very talented in that area. But I will dump some dough on some milkshake products because they have good stuff. But as a mm. dumping dough, as dumping dough goes, um, milkshake products are actually decently priced. I think so. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, I was in the hair industry for eight years, so I know a little bit about price ranges and all that stuff. And I have used my fair share of silver or purple shampoos. Um, and Milkshake is by far the best that it's I've awesome. used. It's super pigmented. It um, is. Guys, it, now you're you're going to get scared in the shower, okay? Yeah, no, for it, real. Yeah. Because let me tell your you. Your hands will, like. Yeah. If yeah. I, honest to God, moisturize before you get in the shower. Just just throw some lotion. It's on your incredible, hands. and uh, but it's awesome stuff. So it's super dark purple, and you just you use it like a shampoo. Except yeah. personally, I don't wash it out right after. No, I'll leave it my, on there as I'm washing uh -huh. my body and shaving my legs yeah. and doing whatever else I need to do, exfoliating, whatever. I leave it in my hair as long as I possibly can, and then I rinse it out. And first of all, your shower's purple, and you're going to be scared, but it's fine. It comes out. It comes out. Yeah. So it's only for bleached hair, though. For dyed hair it won't work on virgin hair or natural hair i wish it did but i'm pretty sure it's no well, no, well she don't work on the hair that hasn't been bleached for me because it's not yellow yellow uh, so uh, purple it, purple shampoo for those of you who are hard. asking um just sort of negates yellow tones in your hair mm. um so if you Takes have the brassy yeah out. if you have brassy hair um and don't want it brassy then grab some purple or silver shampoo, yeah whatever you want to call it and they have conditioner too but i just use a shampoo they have all sorts of leave-ins yeah oh the spray oh. they're leaving conditioning spray you know when you're a kid and your mom buys you detangler because your hair's a wreck and you say your scalp's tender it's just like that except 10 times better every time i use it and then i'll walk out of the bathroom james will walk in and say what so dessert good. am i smelling yeah. and i'm like james it's, it's like it says put that cupcake stuff in my hair <laughs> it, it smells Delicious. Oh, it's so good. They have like a leave-in foam, which is the one that I use on the kids. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, yeah, so good. All the milkshake stuff is incredible if yeah. you guys are in it. I wish we had an affiliate link now for them. I'm like, right? hey. But, Never yeah. heard of milkshake products. Where do you get it? I think you can I think you can go to their website. My sister is a licensed cosmetologist, so I just get it through her. We can order through her. But um, Before I got, got it from my – because you do have to be – a distributor or yeah. not a distributor but you know you do have to buy it from like the inner circle you can't just walk yeah. into like sally's beauty or ulta and get it unfortunately right. um but i got mine off of amazon mm -hmm. but it was a little bit overpriced because my my friend who does my hair she's gonna charge me 20 bucks for like a whole liter of it and i pay 20 bucks for a little bottle of it yeah so you know but if you want to try it out just try it out like that i, I like it I uh like loretta it what about natural gray yeah if i mean if you have brassy natural gray hair then yes it will if you have like the wiry like darker gray mm -hmm. um you're not going to tell a huge difference but um yeah, if, if it has a little bit of brassiness to it, it will work. I love it, though. I use it, I, I probably use it once a week. And the first shower, if you leave it in for like 20 minutes, after the time, after the first time you shower and you dry your hair, it's it 
It might look per actually purple. Legit looks purple. Legit purple. purple. Yeah. And don't start freaking out. The more you wash it, the more it kind of softens up yeah. to just the kind of gray that you're looking for. But I've hopped out of the shower and then went somewhere and they're like, what if or do you have purple hair? And I'm yeah. like, for today I do. Yeah. <laughs> today I do. But uh, today I get to feel like Becca. Yeah. That's yeah. a little wink wink. You guys get to see her on Wednesday. She has quite a surprise for you all. It's very purple hair. Yes. Which for... I, she absolutely rocks like a champ. I feel like I, I do not have the guts to do it. But Stop. Becca, she just rocks it with all the confidence in the world. But I'd be like, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine to be like hiding under tables? And Bright purple hair, don't look at me. Don't look Becca. at me. <laughs> oh, um, I love it. But guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. I love these chit chat little segments at the end of the shows. I hope you all have a, a great rest of your day. It is now 87 degrees. It has risen a couple of degrees from this live stream. But you all are the best. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you for listening to us and for allowing us to be here. We couldn't do this without you guys. I hope that you learned something fun. Don't forget to use any of the links down below if you wanted to purchase any of these amazing uh, products that we used. Please go grab your membership. The yearly membership is on sale today, only through Sunday. I meant to mention that earlier. So. This summer sale ends on Sunday, and then you can also use the coupon code MAKE um, at checkout to get $20 off of your summer summit ticket. So both of those things are super, super fun. You need to get those ASAP. It's amazing. So I'm yeah. dropping the link to Silver Shampoo for you guys. This is an Amazon link, and it's $22, and we sold it for, that's what we sold it for um, at the salon I worked for, so. Well, you have to make money, too. I'm sure you, yeah. like, you probably bought oh, it. Oh, there was a markup, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but you have to make money. Yeah. Yeah, it's great stuff, though. And, um, again, you're going to be scared, and your shower's going to look scary, and things are going to be stay. If, you, if you're in the dead of winter, and you have super, like, dry, cracked hands, your hands are going to be dry and cracked, and then they're also going to be purple, dry, and cracked. So just, you know, that pigment likes to stick into everywhere. But it comes off. It's great. But, yeah. So, guys, we're, we're, we're giving up the crafty tips, the hair tips, mm -hmm. all the tips. You guys are just getting, getting all the tips today. This is free info. This is free. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Joanne, Joan, Joanne, you have a nice day, too. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so I'm standing up, which for me feels awkward, but I think I look okay. So <laughs> I'll keep like. But I, but I think I look okay. I keep like. I don't know if it's like awkward. I'm like, I never stand or alive. I feel like I should just sit down. <laughs> there I'm sitting. Is that better? Anyways. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go. I think Tanner's downstairs. Uh, maybe he's having lunch with. He him. brought us Santa. coffee. Oh, did he? He did. He's the best. I know. Wow. Oh, there he goes. There it is. We yeah. gotta go get our coffee. Yep. Yep. Okay, guys. See you guys, guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you later. Bye.